Hello, my name is Diamante Moru. I'm tattooing since 2012. I started uh, in Sardinia and I landed in Italy and now I'm working and living in Berlin. I started traveling to Berlin around six years ago. When I was uh, landing to the airport, I was feeling at home in Berlin. So I was like, okay, I think I should listen to my feelings and move to that city because I think I have something to offer and the city has a lot to give to me. I have customers that arrive to me and ask me just, okay, I would like to have a bodysuit, do what you want. And this is great because you can, you have the chance to experiment a lot. And I think this one gave me the possibility to grow and do exactly what I had in mind. I'm tattooing nine years and for the first year or two years I was tattooing everything. So I did realistic, Japanese, traditional. So I wanted to be able to do soft shadings, pack colors, even I don't use colors for example. But because this I realized it will give me the possibility in the future to start expressing myself even more. So if one day in my ornamental I want to put some color, I'm able to pack the color. I got an injury on my wrist. I had a cyst. In the beginning I was thinking that it was for because of the weight of the coils, like overworking on that. And then I discovered that it was uh, because of the vibration of the machine. And I had the possibility to try uh, Cheyenne and it was, it was really nice because I could start tattooing again after a couple of months break. And I like it a lot because it's a pretty fast machine and also push the needles that I need. I know that it's a liner machine, but I use it also for big magnum. For example, I do my black work with that machine and 27 mag. I usually use uh, thick grips, so also on the thunder, for example, I put the paper and the tape around the paper because I also because of the problems with my hands. A four millimeter stroke, if for me it's also similar to like an open coil that I use for, for example, for shading, like soft shading or also for filling in black. For sure, for thick lines, I always suggest coils because uh, I never found a rotary that can push easily like an 18 liner opened and uh, for magnum I was I always feel pretty comfortable also with rotaries using thick needles. I started doing art when I was a kid because my mother was a painter so I started painting when I was super young and I promised myself when I was about 16 that doesn't matter what but in my life I will create. And, and I will live from art. And before tattooing, I've been working in theater and that experience uh, made me realize that uh, I wanted to be a self-employer because even though I was creating art, I was under someone else's uh, commissions. So I realized that uh, I wanted to be just a self-employer and manage my own work. Like for becoming a good tattoo artist, I realized that I had to stop all the stuff that I was doing before, like painting expositions, body painting, working in theater and everything, and just dedicated on tattooing. I like to give messages and I think it's what you do with art usually, you give messages. And with social media this stuff became easy because having a lot of followers, I was like, okay, I don't want to have a lot of followers and influence of own people just for showing my art and that's it. I care a lot about the planet environment and everything and I was and then I wanted to um, let help people understand a little bit what it's surrounding us so I think it's I don't know I wanted to be useful on this <laughs> for me it was a little bit more difficult to find my position as a female tattoo artist so also for that I think I've been for many years overworking and doing a lot of conventions and everything because I wanted to um, I wanted to be known for my work and I wanted to this industry not being that selective because someone is a woman because it was in the beginning it was a lot of sexism. I had people that were telling me, for example, you are a woman, you can't do black work, you know, and I was like, come on, it's this is this is not fair and this is not true, you know. So I wanted to I wanted to demonstrate to everybody that actually you can do whatever you want, it doesn't matter the gender. 